Christianity to believe monks, not priests, monks which, have which, the top Which Christianity? Uh, the, uh, the judicial one, I think, or whatever the fuck what? it's called. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Judicial? The, I can't. The, I can't. They're it's not the, the three branches it, of government. I know. I, I can't remember what it's fucking called, but it's the one that started in England. It's wherever the ones in England. That's the one that they do that with. Catholicism's pretty pretty popular over there. Oh, um, so is the Church of England, which is I don't I don't fucking know. I don't I don't. Dude, follow there's stuff. Dude, some of the some of the Christian beliefs just weird. Personally, well, there's like there's like thousands of different denominations, and they're they're all. <laughs> They're, they're they and i could let's I could hold, talk about i just the more i know i go over the mormons god damn the shit that's in their book is just like huh it's not, it's not much crazier than the shit christians believe it is it, that's mormons are christians they just call it mormonism yeah. yeah but like people separate mormons from your traditional christianity but they're both fucking wacky shit um I like, hate it when I hear like when I hear a Mormon say, "Oh, like Islam is so weird," or I hear a Christian say, "Oh, like uh, Scientology is so weird." Okay, like, Scientology. No, okay, Scientology is weird. Bullshit, oh my God, crazy. Oh my God. Ball, fucking science Scientologists are the craziest people on the fucking planet. Like, have you seen the documentary behind Scientology? Like, I've heard of it. I oh, wanted dude, to see I it. I watched it. I watched it. The whole, like, this guy, it, it's nuts. Like, there was a guy who got out of Scientology, and he is shunned. And they they own, like, oh, yeah, an yeah, entire yeah. roadway. That's, that's, like, like, that's every cult. That's every cult. Th- th- it's more than a cult. Like, this shit is Mormonism, nuts. Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, they all do that. They all shun. I, as soon as you said Jehovah show. Witness, I was thinking Grandma Linda. I was like, I love Grandma Linda, but. I love Grandma Linda, too. I told her I was an atheist a couple of years ago, and luckily she she decided like she she cares about me and our relationship more than her religion. So that's I know cool. she's one because of the good technically ones. Technically, she's one I of the good ones. I'll give her that. She's definitely yeah. one of the good ones. She doesn't put her religion before her family, and that's something I yeah, enjoy. That's surprising too, because she talks about her religion a lot. Me and her uh, will talk about it, like because I I don't I'm not religious and I'm not. I don't know really even sure what I am, but we'll well, just, we'll have a long discussion about stuff. Sure. And, oh God, it's yeah, like, fun. But see the back back to that other like I, t- I was talking about the like uh, the corruption in the Catholic Church, and she's like, yes, they're so corrupt, <laughs> and totally like it just goes over her head, man. Like she has no idea that her shit is like just as corrupt. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she, she'll talk shit on it. <laughs> They'll she'll... all I mean not all of them, but like it's just annoying when like. You hear other like religious people talking shit on other <laughs> religions. It's just they're so oblivious to their to their own uh, shit, their own flaws. I, I got grandma to, pop, to talk pop, shit about calling the kettle black. Yeah, <laughs> call, you're, that's calling the kettle. Yeah, but no, yeah. I got grandma Linda to talk shit about her own religion one time. She was like, oh, "Yeah, good. I've met some Jehovah Witnesses that aren't really good," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> I was well, like, "Hold on, I want to yeah. hear this." I don't like know those... if that's she'll never say anything bad about the religion, but no, she'll, she won't. you know, like, um, but she be like, yeah, no, people are flawed and I cannot like people, but the Watchtower Society is infallible. I don't know if that's actually her position because no, no, she, she, she believes that if, if you choose to believe something like from what I understood, like she believes Jehovah Witnesses, the way you don't choose your beliefs. Yeah. But she, she, she's like, I like her thing is like Jehovah witness is the way to go, but she won't force it upon you. She'll just be like, she, she just goes yeah. like, it's, there's like one, what it was 144,000 people are going to be saved. And it's yeah, the it's true. Be- yeah. It's the true believers that are the ones that are going to be saved. So, okay. So, so she's, she's willing to let us go to, do they believe in hell? They do. Yes, they do. So we're going to hell. Uh, no, she, so yes and no. Uh, she thinks that it's not just yeah. about being Jehovah witness. She believes that it's also being about a good person. So we, we had like a long so, discussion. I don't know. About I don't know too much about, I don't know enough about Jehovah's witnesses because, because some Christianity, it's like, it's all about faith and some is about good works. Yes. Um, but then like, they'll be like, no, it's not just faith alone. And the people are like, no, you could do all the good you want in the whole world. But unless you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're fucked. Those people make no sense to me. Be- like, I, I, well, maybe, I, maybe it's because I think, we're human, okay. but... I don't... You'd have to... It depends on your interpretation of the Bible. But Jesus said that, like, I am I am the only way. Like, 
I don't, he said I he's the only way, but he never, he never, for, but that that was a changed verse. I'm pretty sure because if you go, oh, I have through, no idea, man. I've read through the Bible four times and it's Ew. just because I, I I've read it, the dude. Buddhist handbook. I've, tried, I've, I've read, tried. I've read the book of Islam. I, I read those because I was curious and mm-hmm. all in all, like a lot of what's depicted, you can tell what's just like pure bull crap. And then what's generally there to be a guideline. How, how do you know? It, it's worded different. Like it reads differently. It reads like someone else entirely wrote it. And that's because like the Bible's written by, it has like hundreds, seven, like dozens yeah. and dozens of and, authors. Yep. But and how, different iterations and different translations. But like, okay. so like if you go back, you can pull the original translations from um, Latin, excuse me, to English and whatever else sure. you want to do. Yeah. I don't think we have any of the original transcripts though. We don't. So no, it's uh, that's the, those, the original transcripts are the sea scrolls. Those are the draft of is the that, Bible. Yeah. yeah that's what know. the sea scrolls are. So I don't, I don't really know enough to anyways. I, I keep, uh, I personally like, I love mythology. So I'm all over that. Oh, shit. sure. Yeah. No, like there's so many mythologies way cooler than Christianity. Christianity's lame compared well, to like well, the, the, the Greek pantheon, the Nordic oh, pantheon yes. and all the stories. Yeah, dude, dude, the um, pantheon. The, it's great because it's something that like a lot of people don't realize. So if you take Egypt and Aztec and compare their gods, just going to compare one of them or two of them, their rain God for Egypt is considered growth harmonious fertility and like everything good because they're constantly needing water for their crops go to Aztec. Their rain God is considered death, despair, and just everything bad because when it rains in over in the Aztec kingdoms, it would flood, it would ruin crops. It would destroy everything they built through the year. So like just the different dim- dynamic there. Yeah, shows. it's funny how it's funny how like your geographic location determines your beliefs. Um, a little bit, and not, and has really nothing to do with like um, having actual truth. Um, I still question. think it's cool um, that the one I think I God. might be able to help you about Aries. like what what you what you are. Do you believe in God? I believe that. This is, I believe that there's a possibility that there is an entity out there that is possibly something that's close to God. And if God did exist or a version of God, it oh, would be multiple. You have to. Or a girl. On, you have, and it would reside outside our universe. Okay. Cause, time out. How. Okay. So how do you. You have to demonstrate possibility. Okay. So here's. So how here's do you know thing. it's possible? Okay, so we know a life resides inside our universe. We understand that there's What do you mean? For- like you mean us, like we Yes, not just us, but there's life form everywhere. There's constant life forms everywhere. It's not just amoebas and particles and bacteria. Life itself mm-hmm. resides. No matter what anyone says, there's definitely life outside of our planet, outside of our solar system. There probably is, yeah. Um, yeah. but we have so, evidence for that by the yeah, fact that I, life exists on this planet. It can, so we can infer that it exists on other planets. So then we can infer from there. However, here's where a lot of people like, oh, but there is a God. There has to be someone that created everything. Well, maybe possibly, but not really. My thought is this, if we're going to go based on one God, no matter which way you want to possess it, it's going to be a girl or a, or a gender neutral being because females give birth, men do not. And if it isn't a gen, and Wait, if, if but, uh, and if it's well, genderless, okay. it would be a uh, it would be genderless, That's, but it wouldn't reside in our universe. It would reside in a different well, form time out, of dimensional time out, space. Time out. How do how do you know there's anything outside the universe? To how we, do you know that uh, outside the universe? So we can. So what kind of dimensional space do we live in? A lot of people say three dimensions. Sure. That's right, but technically wrong because you have space and time, time and space. To travel in space is to travel in time, and to travel in time is to travel in space. Everyone, you and me, have our different uh, point fixtures. This was proven with the uh, the moving light bulb effect. To the guy sure. that's sitting there with the light in front of him and uh, moving I've side to exp- side. I've seen that. I've seen that experiment. Yeah. And so that means well, everyone's that... traveling in their time space. However, sure. to be able to exist outside of time that means that's fifth dimension and sixth dimension Fourth how dimension, do you how do you okay how do you know that there's anything because outside of dark time? matter dark matter and antimatter fluctuate in inside out of our universe which means there has how to do you, be i don't some think sort of i don't think i don't think any scientists would 
posit that there's anything outside of the universe. The just uni because we don't know where they're going doesn't mean, or just because it appears that they're outside of the universe doesn't mean that they actually are. They haven't proven that. Yes, but we're going to go based off a theology, not theology, but off of the, uh, off of a hypoth hypothesis theory. Fuck, I hate words. So okay. inside of our dimension, we have proven that there's antimatter and dark matter. However, they fluctuate in inside of our universe. However, on top of that, we have Einstein's theory. Then we have uh, Stephen Hawking's theory about uh, dimensionals and that the multiverse theory possibly is more likely to be correct because of even though I didn't Just do it. Because it's more likely doesn't mean it's true until they actually prove it's true. Well, that that's why theory that's so, it's, so it's, a hypo it's not i don't even think you could say it's a it's theory a hypo it's a it's, hypothesis no, it, uh, theory so even... scientific theory is different than yeah. a hypothesis we yes. we see, so yeah you so need to be careful what, when yeah. using theory because a lot of people say like, well, like to throw that word around but uh, well, when having discussions thing. like this it's important Hy to make that distinction so like evolutionary theory is proven. It's not a theory. It, so here's the thing where people get confused. So no, scientists, the theory, evolution, scientists kind of, uses, hold on, can, hold on no, no, let me, let me, let me tell you. you. Hold I on, no, hold you. on. No, I already know. Theory is used differently in scientific terms to a scientist. When they use the word theory, it's proven, but they say theory because there's always more information that can be added. That's why mm -hmm. they use theory. Scientifically speaking, mine's a hypothesis, but for a lame person, for somebody who isn't in the scientific field, this would be a theory. You mean us? Yes, exactly. Because we're not scientists. Yeah. We don't well, have that. So that's why I say uh, theory. That's why I so, personally say theory is for the layman terms. Okay, so you're just yeah. using it colloquially. Yes. yes. <laughs> so I, know, I can't say that. I word. know, I can't talk right now. But that's, that's where mine stems from. I believe that there is a possibility. I don't know anything if there is or isn't. How do but, you know it's a possibility? Well, I've experienced enough of weird shit in my life, like enough, but it's not just my life and everyone else's. There is or isn't. And personally, I rather think That's of the universe true. bigger than ourselves. I rather think. Okay, but just, about the just because you personally want it, yeah. you per, just because you personally want it to be bigger than it is, doesn't, doesn't make, make it, it a true. possibility. Yeah. 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 And I, I okay. understand that I, I don't force it. If you understand it, then it's... why do you, then why do you, if you understand the contradiction, I, I, I want to tittle with that like aspect of it. I rather, I rather have my brain be well, able to be like, Hey, if you know, this is what if, you if, know, what if, if you know, it's in yeah. like, if, if you know, it's like intellectually, um, it's like, improbable, dishonest. but it's not impossible. It's okay. With it. Uh, Sure, I I think that might have to be demonstrated too, but well, impossible would be there. Impossible we were... is a claim. Yes, and see, Im but see, your your claim is essentially actually your it can't be a hypothesis. It has to be falsifiable, and your hypothesis hypothesis isn't falsifiable, so it, it can't can be, be in time. It can be in time. In time, until we have a way to yeah. to to make it falsifiable, but until then, it's not. So it's just yeah. a crackpot little like thing you yeah. like. And, and I like it and I change it whenever a new information or piece is added. Th this is where my, my open minded theory comes from is that if it's proven You're, wrong, there's oh such well. a thing as like, and at the same time, I, I follow what I do to be like, Hey, if the universe is bigger than it is, it allows me to have bigger ideas and to move forth with that. But it's not just about having that idea because I, I don't know if a God exists. I don't, really care if it does exist because if there is a heaven or hell my my whole thing is this if any god by everyone's standards everyone always claims my god is uh, uh forgiving and all this they will fully understand if again if they there is a heaven or hell that god would fully understand like you lived your life the way you did you weren't cruel you weren't mean you tried you made mistakes and you learned from your mistakes and you pushed for it and you kept growing as a person you didn't believe in me but i don't blame you for that well how do you how do you know that I, how do you again, know that's just, if there's that's a god just those i don't know that's, that's why just, just how like, you feel care. yeah i just you, don't care just, if there is if, okay, if there well, is or isn't i don't care okay well the the truth doesn't care how you feel yeah like, exactly it's funny how most people's gods like their gods oddly enough believe in the same stuff they believe mm -hmm. it's kind of weird um but i just think until you can prove any of this is even possible 
Um, it's just no, conjecture. Like it's, it's just conjecture. no. I'm not even sure what conjecture means. In conjecture this. is um, taking uh, possible data and just blowing it out of proportion because it's fun to do. That's pretty much how I live my life. It, it's on the basis of incomplete information. Yes. Um, but there's like no information. There so is even, information though. You just like, got to dig for it. And a lot like of what? it's backed. Like, like, like if you look at dimensional theory, it, it's there. Tons of scientists have backed it. And even our, uh, what's that one thing called? I don't think um, we've demonstrated that there's other dimensions. So no, it's not, but it's you, still, it's still being worked on. That's the thing. Like, sure. is it a dead And the field, time, the time, so. the time to believe it is when there's concrete evidence for it. I, I just it's personally, all, like how they, I they can it. maybe say it's conjecture, but yeah. until, it, until they can prove it, I'm justified in not believing in it. That's okay. That's uh, okay. Like, but it also means just you're not like justified to. in believing it. Exactly. Not, but at the same time, it's and you're one okay of those with that. Double, yeah, I'm okay with that. It doesn't bother oh, me. All right. Well, I mean, if yeah. you're okay with like being like um, logically inconsistent, there's nothing yeah, I could do I, about that. I, that's yeah, cool I am inconsistent with my brain. My thought process changes. Like tomorrow, so, like, like something me, could change how I feel. So for me, um, I want to believe as many true things as possible and as few false things as possible. And the best way to I do that is. That. The best way to do that, I I would hope so. Um, Yeah. um, So, do you know what the null hypothesis is? Maybe. I would. So it's um, it's it's the null hypothesis is um the 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 default position in any given claim. There's no significant difference between specified population, any observed. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I don't know if what you're reading is what I I pulled it up. All right. I pulled up this the, is, but the, the okay. Thing. Well, this is what I mean when I say um, population, um, the null hypothesis, because that, that could probably mean tons of different things in different contexts. We test context, the likelihood of this statement being true in order to decide whether to accept or reject an or our alternative hypothesis. It's okay, so that's pretty close. But for me, it's like the default position is disbelief. Yes. Until no, that, so that's like what any this is, any yeah. any given claim. Um, I am justified in disbelieving it until there's evidence for it. Yeah, there's a and that yeah, goes so so that goes up, for basically everything you said earlier. Yeah, so this I don't shows. Think this, yeah, this shows a threshold. It shows like if the value is less than a threshold of value, that's rejected of the alternative hypothesis and accept the null hypothesis. So after you reach a certain amount of information that proves the conjecture correct, then you can bring it in until so then it goes the other it. way too. Like if yeah. I want to say like. Uh, yeah. If I want to say, so I'm the no, other side of the like, curve. I'm the other side of the curve, and you're on the you're on the reject everything until proven, and I'm on the other side, accepting everything until it's disproven. Uh, yes, because and no. that is, more like that is like the I, like that is the worst. But ideas. I accept ideas, and well, because you have to you have to be like careful that. with when you just accept ideas because I, you yeah. can accept contradicting points, and then oh, you're, yeah. which is yeah, you don't you you don't want to do that, right? You don't want to accept contradicting no. points. That's like somebody who believes in who believes in Zeus and God at the same time, because they're mutually exclusive ideas. You can't logically believe in both because at the same time. Well, and depending you, on the context, and, to be honest, if you warp the context, you really could. If you if you if really you, wanted to, you could warp you, the context. Okay, so I uh, no because. Um, yeah, it says right. Yeah, th- uh, there's an okay. actual data graph about this stuff. This is nuts. So hold on, because you can't. So you can't believe in a god that claims to be like, or in a religion where you have a someone that you just have one god, and only one god, and there's always only been one god, and then also believe in another god. No, it's, yeah, that's it's logically inconsistent. It, and it's it's a it's a it's a well, with a, so, a paradox. Well, like it's not just a paradox. Uh, and so I, when you it's this uh, it's the supernatural effect. The, the TV show Supernatural, they have all those other gods in there as lesser gods, but then they have sure. the one true god, which is the one that created everything. Okay, well they, they, they need so, to yeah. prove that these gods are can exist all at the same time, and until so, I'm justified logically and exactly not believing any of them but you're but you're putting yourself in a position 
to potentially believe contradicting things and that's like you don't i i don't think you want to do that i I mean i don't i personally don't think you should i don't think anybody should put themselves in that position when it comes Um, to if they want to be like i (laughs) i like to take pieces i like to just life is just a bunch of pieces and i pick up random pieces i just like my things fair enough man if that's what you like Uh, i was taking a shit last night (laughs) 